Hi everyone, this is a video on what is the difference between SEO and SEM. So we get these questions quite often uh, in our workshops and also uh, when our participants attend other workshops, they, they tend to ask this uh, question a lot. Do, do, uh, what is SEO? How come I'm not uh, ranked? Uh, on Google for my domain name when uh, my company name is exactly the same as my domain name. So if you search like, uh, you know, for example, if my agency is called like Tripod um, Agency and when I search Tripod Agency, I'm not ranked for uh, the exact company name and other other results show like maybe Amazon's uh, uh, listing or even other places where uh, you know, the word tripod is actually ranked higher for their website. So this video is going to uh, explain a little bit about what SEO and SEM is. Um, so they are actually different things and how you can actually help your website to be ranked for uh, some keywords of your own domain name and how SEO can work for you. I'm Charmaine and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Sky Digital Agency and we are here to help marketers and business owners in better marketing for better leads. At Sky Digital Agency, uh, we pride ourselves to help our clients create a uh, better social media presence uh, in the, the different uh, digital marketing platforms available specializing in SEO, SEM, Facebook and email marketing. By the end of this video, you will understand the difference between SEO and SEM. We are also sharing with you some tips to get your organic SEO up and running. What do we do at Sky Digital Agency? We do consultancy projects, marketing strategy, SEO and SEM, digital marketing training. We help our clients with branding, web development, graphic design, Facebook marketing and advertising. We manage the campaigns. We uh, consult our clients on the strategies behind the Facebook uh, advertising campaigns. We also design and strategize the email marketing campaigns for our clients, especially clients who uh, have a lot of database and they want to leverage on this database to um, churn in uh, revenue for their business. So um, the other thing that we do um, is weekly digital marketing workshops on the different topics of uh, Facebook, on uh, infographics, on uh, visual content marketing, email marketing, uh, fundamentals to internet marketing. So uh, we are focused on the marketing topics and if there are any questions that you have uh, with regards to anything at all about internet marketing, uh, feel free to comment below or just feel free to um, write to us. SEO versus SEM, let's look uh, at what it means on Wikipedia so that I can elaborate further. So SEO is actually the process of your website, um, you know, visibility uh, on the search uh, results of uh, search engines. So these are unpaid, so these are organic and uh, they are often uh, um, labeled or they are often uh, referred to. They are often referred to as uh, natural results uh, that this website or domain names have earned to be um, found on the first page of uh, Google or Yahoo. Let's look at Wikipedia's uh, explanation about SEM. So search engine uh, marketing is a form of internet marketing that's in, that involves the promotion of websites by increasing the visibility in the search result pages. Uh, SERPS through optimization and advertising. So the keyword is op advertising. So mainly SEM consists of paid advertisement uh, efforts to um, rank your uh, website on the first few pages of uh, Google. Uh, sorry, on the first page and at the top three uh, results of Google uh, search engine. SEM uh, includes SEO tactics as well as other things. So SEM is a wider umbrella and SEO is actually part of SEM. So what is SEO and SEM? Uh, briefly, just briefly to help you to understand better, SEO is uh, organic which is also free. It's something that uh, you have done on your website to optimize um, people to look for you and your products and your services. Um, you also provide quality and fresh content. Uh, that's the result of you uh, getting ranked organically on uh, Google. So SEM, what is SEM? SEM basically it's um, mainly paid advertisement, Google AdWords, Google Display Network, uh, etc. So these are SEM efforts uh, in um, in general. So elaborating more on SEO, 
Um, SEO is actually a component of uh, the larger category SEM and SEO is the process of bringing more visitors to your web page or your website um, with uh, keywords, with uh, key content, um, you know what people are looking for and you create this content to drive traffic to your website so that people get to know about your business and the services you offer. So um, one very simple example may be that uh, we create an article about um, how visual content marketing uh, is so important that it helps uh, businesses uh, to communicate better in their marketing collaterals. And then we talk about our workshops on infographics and visual content marketing. So these are things that help you uh, maximize the number of visitors to your web page or your website. And you, after uh, sharing about this information, you actually promote about your services. SEO is also constantly tra uh, changing. Uh, this is uh, because of uh, Google who is improving their algorithm. Uh, they are looking for more quality information. Um, as you know now, um, information that has uh, many backlinks doesn't mean that you naturally rank on uh, page one. So they actually manage to um, code, it, uh, code their algorithm such that they are able to identify the uh, good information, the quality information uh, compared to the bad. Uh, you know, uh, backlinks, uh, um, which are just uh, links and clickbaits and stuff. So uh, there is also another update uh, by Google uh, in a recent uh, two to three years uh, that they rank mobile friendly websites higher than websites that are not mobile friendly designed. So if your website is not mobile friendly yet, uh, this is something that you need to get uh, done. And this is really important uh, for you to be um, you know, search because uh, many searches happen on mobile. SEO consists of on-page and off-page activities. So um, there are two components. On-page means that uh, these are things that you do on your website to improve your search results. Off-page means that you take steps outside of your website to improve your search results. You drive traffic uh, to your web uh, to your web page uh, outside of your website. So um, we're just going to give you some examples um, on off-page and on-page activities. So five examples of on-page activities. These are steps that you can also take immediately. Number one, incorporating keywords uh, to your meta tags, uh, your title tags, your meta keywords, your meta descriptions. These are things where uh, you want to um, leverage on certain keywords where you, you 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 hope that people can look for your website. So one example can be something like this. Sky Digital Agency is a digital training agency uh, that has seven skills which are approved workshops in Singapore. Um, you know, the word Singapore can be placed anywhere, but uh, you know, the reason why we this sentence was uh, is to curate and to drive uh, traffic for the keyword skills future and Singapore in our meta descriptions uh, on our website. Point number two, uh, clean format uh, page URL. So if you ever have a blog, uh, if you ever have a website, uh, when you have a CMS where you are able to create more pages, you want to make sure that your URLs are descriptive of your web page, meaning that uh, the web page that's, uh, that is generated from the CMS actually takes after the page titles uh, in your uh, blog or your page. Um, a, a one very bad example is the second line where if we have a blog and the URL is something like skydigitalagency.com slash blog question mark id equals 4. Um, this is the fourth article of the blog. It doesn't tell you what this blog uh, is about. Um, the very good uh, example of a URL would be something like skydigitalagency.com slash blog slash SEO versus SEM. It tells you that this is a blog and it tells you what article is in this page. So um, you want to make sure that you have clean format page URLs on your website. Number three, optimize page load speed. So um, if your website takes very long to load, you want to improve on those. This actually helps uh, in uh, reducing the bounce rates on your website. So many people actually exit the web page because the web page just doesn't load. And you want to ensure uh, that you are not on fiber optics when you try to load your website. Because when you're on fiber optics, you, you tend to load your web page faster. Um, so just just be on normal Wi-Fi or uh, you know normal connection and see whether your web page loads as fast 
or a reasonable speed of uh, you know below 10 seconds um, 10 seconds is really quite long uh, especially if you're based in Singapore because other countries uh, do not have uh, such fast internet speed so do, do work on the optimization of your page load speed Point number four, update your website content regularly. So uh, we do have clients who have web content that is the same for a year, for three years. Uh, this is something that you're just telling the robots that you do not have uh, you know, um, real content. You do not have new content to offer online. And in today's day and age, everyone is blogging. So there are information overloading uh, online but you, what you want to do is to just keep your uh, business uh, website uh, with updated content be it uh, the projects that you do case studies that you write uh, uh, white papers or even like um, you know the clients that you have uh, just just very small uh, information and updates uh, will help uh, you in your SEO ranking the last point is this, write better communicative copy. So if you find that people are coming to your website and they exit uh, you know, uh, on your homepage, uh, you need to look at your website and see how you can improve on uh, being communicative and lure the visitor deeper. So be it offering them something uh, even on the homepage uh, you know, so that they can stay longer for a longer period of time and they, you eventually get them to take the action that you want, which is uh, getting in touch with you uh, on your contact us form or yeah, somewhere within your website. So um, now that we are done with the on-page activities, I'm just going to share five more examples of off-page activities that you can do to help in your SEO ranking. Number one, create high quality um, backlink profiles. Um, this will drive you traffic from uh, outside of your uh, website. So be it uh, on Facebook, on other forums, um, or even like other websites where you can contribute if you are someone who can write. You know, you may want to just be a writer who contributes articles to other web pages or even online magazines and things like that and link, link back to your um, uh, business blogging or contribution to other websites so uh, blogging is something that many people uh, may struggle to start uh, although this actually gives you uh, SEO ranking so um, it's uh, started only if you are able to at least write one article uh, every you know two weeks um, three weeks um, try try to contribute one article every uh, month um, that's actually quite irregular but uh, if you can start somewhere um, with like three articles and just slowly build on your content uh, content that will drive you traffic so don't blog about things that uh, does not have keywords to drive you traffic point number three always submit um, your website URLs to search engines uh, like Google Yahoo uh, you like to note that 67% of searches done online are done on Google so Google is definitely a must and Yahoo uh, is the second engine so um, you know just why not because it's not that difficult to submit anyway number four cross-linking within your website so this is something that helps uh, to help helps user to spend more time on your website instead of always going back to navigation and uh, you know linking them um, or bring them to the correct content. If you have um, links within your web page to bring them across your web page like a flow, a better flow for them, uh, it helps in your SEO ranking as well when users, uh, visitors spend more time on your website. Number five, this is a debatable point, but if your domain is new, uh, my recommendation, my personal recommendation is for you to renew your domain for at least two to three years. Uh, don't let it just be a year of uh, domain. It actually affects your ranking because many people do buy domain names and let them go within a year. And um, of course, uh, older web domain names uh, do get uh, do get higher ranking uh, due to many various reasons, but but I do not recommend you to buy a domain name uh, from someone else paying hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars for it because you do not know the history of the domain name and those are harder to overcome uh, if you are already blacklisted, uh, if it is already a domain that is blacklisted. So whatever domain name that you have bought, just renew it for two to three years um, and it helps you 
um, to have a little bit of authority there. Um, but um, that being said, this is a debatable point, but I always recommend all clients with new websites, new domain names to get uh, to get the domain names renewed for at least two to three years. So that's the end of the video. We hope this video was useful. If you have any questions about SEO or SEM uh, or internet marketing, do drop your comment below if you're watching this video on Facebook or YouTube. Um, if you're watching this video on PTX and you're considering uh, to join us for the workshop, uh, our workshop covers more content and helps you to understand how lead generation works online and how internet marketing uh, as a whole is. And um, you know there are some things that are misconceptions of internet marketing. So um, those are addressed um, in our workshop. So we hope to have you at our workshops. Um, we have about five workshop skills which are approved, so uh, check our uh, uh, profile out on uh, Skills Future. And if you would like to learn more about fundamentals to internet marketing, the uh, this is Skills Future claimable. Um, this is a full day workshop from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The course fee is $360. You can write an email to us at uh, say hi at skycrm.asia and um, we will let you know about our course schedules. If you are already on PTIX, um, our schedules are always on PTIX as well. Um, you can also inquire about future uh, course uh, schedules as well if there are no dates online uh, on PTIX that uh, fits your schedule. So that being said, thank you so much for your time and we hope you enjoyed this video. We are on YouTube so do look for us, do subscribe. It helps to encourage us to uh, come up with more content every week. Um, follow us on PTIX for our course schedules, skydigitalagency.ptix.com we hope this video was useful and if you have any comments for us, do write us an email and we hope to see you at our workshops.